but now we got a spooky game that is completely black but we got our flashlight to help us navigate all right first thing you want to do is go to your workspace and insert a tool let's go ahead and rename this tool to be flashlight and inside of the flashlight tool let's insert a part I'm gonna go ahead and change the color of mine and be black change yours to whatever color you want and I'm gonna scroll down until I find the size I'm gonna change the size to 2 comma 0 0.5 comma 0 0.5 and this is going to be our handle so let's rename it to be handle let's add in another part on the handle going to rename this to be head and I'm going to set the size to be 0 0.75 comma 0 0.75 comma 0 0.75 change the color to black let's press F to find it and let's position it And we need the head to be uh, welded to the handle. So let's add in a weld constraint. And on this weld constraint for part zero, select handle. For part one, select head. I'm gonna select the flashlight and bring it up a little bit. I'll go to the head and click the plus icon and we're gonna add in a spotlight. And if you select the spotlight, it'll show you how the light is being shown. Let's crank the brightness all the way up. And I'm gonna change the color of the light to be a little bit yellowish. And let's change the range to be all the way up as well. You can make this however you want though. And the direction or the face, let's do left. You may have to do a different option it just depends on how you modeled it uh, but for me it's left now let's drag the flashlight into the starter pack and if you hit play you should be able to equip the flashlight you can see it's not being held correctly so a really easy way to uh, position the flashlight in your hand is go to plugins in the toolbox and search for tool grip editor and I've already got it installed, but this is it right here. Right here, this is a really good plugin. So just select it, click install, and you should get a tool grip editor window that opens up once it installs. If you don't, go to plugins, and you should see it up here, tool grip editor. Uh, so select your tool, and then click the edit tool grip, and you can position it in the hand how you want it to show up or you can position the hand to adjust it on the flashlight uh, so I like to look in the window right here and we need to rotate it so just rotate it until the tool looks good once you get it positioned the way you like you can just press play and test it out again and uh, that's gonna be good enough for me all right, so we've got it positioned correctly and the flashlight is just on all the time. And if that's what you're looking for, then you're done with this video, congrats. Uh, but let's say you wanna be able to toggle the flashlight on and off. So let's do that. Let's go to our replicated storage and let's add in a folder and call this remote events. I like to put all my remote events in a folder instead of just putting them all in replicated storage to keep everything nice and tidy. Uh, and then in here we're going to add in a remote event and name it toggle flashlight i'll go back to your tool and we're going to need to add in a local script and we're going to need to add in a normal script let's do our server side script first so i'm just going to type all the code and then i'll explain it Here we're setting up a connection to our remote event. Whenever the player triggers the remote event, it calls the onServer event function. We pass in the player and the tool being used. From there, we find the spotlight inside the tool and toggle its enabled state. If the light is on, it turns off, and if it's off, it turns on. 
Now let's go to our local script. And again, I'm just gonna type the code and then I'll explain it. So let's break this down. First, we define our references to the tool, the player, and the user input service so we can detect player inputs. And when the tool is equipped, we connect to the input began event from user input service. This event will tell us when any key is pressed. We're interested in the F key, however, so when the F key is pressed, we use a remote event, fire server, where we pass in the tool to send a message to the server asking it to toggle the flashlight. All right, so let's press play and let's test it out. We get our flashlight. The light should come on at first and then if we press F, nothing happens. So let's see what we did wrong. In our server script, we need to capitalize the L in light in spotlight. I think that is what was causing issues. So now if we press play and we select our flashlight, the light should come on. And then if we press F, it turns off. Press F again, it comes back on. And yeah, we can toggle our light on and off. And congratulations, you have just made a working flashlight in Roblox Studio that you can toggle on and off. But let's take this a step further to make it a little bit more dramatic. And by that, I mean I want it to be pitch black. I want our environment to be completely black so we can really see the effects of our flashlight. So in order to do that, go to your lighting and for ambient set it to zero comma zero comma zero and for the outdoor ambient do the same thing make it all zeros for the brightness set it to zero as well and time of day set it to zero as well this will make it midnight and then we still got some light coming from the sky uh, so delete the sky itself, the sky box, and let's search in our toolbox. Let's go to models and let's search for black sky box and solid black sky box. Let's insert it and that should make it completely black. Now let's press play can't even see our character so let's get our flashlight and there you go and now we got a spooky game that is completely black but we got our flashlight to help us navigate and we can turn it off and back on and there you go you have made a flashlight and a completely black environment and yeah that's gonna wrap up the video so thank you guys for watching uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Or don't. I'm just glad you watched the video. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next one.